Hello dears, today we will conduct an experiment on the transmission of electricity through bearings. And why I need it, I'll tell you at the end of the video. This will require a 12 volt power supply, connector for its connection, two magnets, subsequently from magnets and thin wires I refused. Two bearings, I will use 606ZZ. Caps from searings for clamping contacts. And let's strip, I have remained the length of 2 meters. Press the wire tape to the inner ring of the bearing with the cap. The power wires are attached to the outer rings of the bearings with magnets. Connect the power. When the bearings are rotated, the tape flashes slightly, but in a static position it shines without flickering. Great! Everything works! The experiment was a success! Thank you for attention! Good luck! Bye! No, that's not all. Next, I'll check how the bearings affect voltage, amperage and light brightness. Also, compare how they are heated when working with grease and without it. And I'll show you how to disassemble the bearing and clean it from grease. The output voltage of the power supply. Now switch the multimeter to the current measurement amperage mode. You must move the red probe to another socket. Set it to 10 amps. LED type SMD5050 60 pieces per meter. 2 meters of LED strip consume 1.6 amps. The voltage is 11.76 volts. Now connect the tape through the bearing. Amperage decreased. Voltage drop on tape. Now let's connect to tape through the second bearing. The voltage of the tape is now an average of 10.7 volts. Amperage has become 1 amp. Here you can see how the brightness changes depending on the number of bearings. Two bearings, one without bearings. Also, I downloaded the software on a smartphone, which shows the level of illumination. The difference between each measurement is an average of 100 units. As a result, each bearing is half a volt, 0.3 amps, and 100 units of brightness. As for the heating of the bearings, after a long time they are heated quite strongly, and touch them is obtained only a few seconds. Experiments have shown that the bearing without lubrication and protective washer is heated slightly less than the original, probably because of better cooling. In my opinion, this difference is not significant. By the way, I'll show you how to disassemble and clean the bearing grease. To remove the protective washer will require a thin and sharp object. Also the other side. To clean the bearing from grease I will use gasoline. The bearing began to rotate easily, now you need to dry it. So why do I need all this? I will use bearing power transmission in my next project.
Earlier I made a similar lamp on bearings. Click on the tooltip at the top right to see more details. This lamp. It will be LED lamp of infinite rotation with IR control on Arduino. The new device will be version 2.0. Hope you enjoy. Perhaps this is all. Good luck. Bye.